My name is Melvin I. Freeman. I'm a physician and a fellow of the American College of Surgeons. I'm a retired uh, emeritus professor of ophthalmology at the University of Washington School of Medicine. I'm an affiliate clinical investigator at the Benaroya Research Center at the Virginia Mason Medical Center. I'm the past head of ophthalmology at Virginia Mason. I'm uh, Raymond Stein uh, from Toronto, Canada. I am associate professor at the University of Toronto, uh, medical director of the Bachner Eye Institute, uh, cornea consultant at Mount Sinai Hospital, and uh, chief of ophthalmology at the Scarborough Hospital. Uh, I've devoted the last 25 years to cataract surgery and refractive surgery, and uh, a variety of books uh, to educate ophthalmic assistants, uh, medical students, and ophthalmologists. Uh, this has all been a labor of love for my dad. Uh, he's really devoted the last 50 years of his career to the ophthalmic assistant and uh, updating it on a regular basis. And so he's really been um, the innovator for this book uh, from day one. Um, I've enjoyed helping him um, to update with all the current technology probably over the last 15 years, whether it's refractive surgery or laser vision correction. And, um, and uh, Dr. Freeman has been a fantastic addition uh, with great ideas and, and simplifying everything and coming up with new ideas. Well, I enjoy the whole book. As you know, we now have 52 chapters. We have 27 authors that participate with uh, us in the book. So that gives a great diversity of education. We cover everything from anatomy and physiology to photography to ethics to the latest in uh, computerized uh, technology uh, to history of art and ophthalmology. It's just a wonderful a grouping of information for the allied health and associated uh, people to be really successful and to develop the skills uh, that uh, are necessary to really be effective in their office practices. I love all the photographs and diagrams and how simple it is to find you know whatever you're looking for whether it's the index or how it's color-coded um, so that um, one can read it if they want from page one to almost page a thousand or if you're looking for a, a special area you've seen a patient or you have an interest in an area it's easy to find and look up things one of the exciting things for me about the book and the pictures are that many of the pictures are of the Stein family over the years and uh, it's such a joy to look at that and recognize who they are and see the progression in time from when they were small children until uh, now they are professionals. Both uh, Ray and his brother and his sister are in the book as well as Harold and Ann Stein. And uh, for someone who knows that family, it's just wonderful and exciting to see this evolve. Um, I just said, you know, in addition to this book being extremely valuable for ophthalmic assistance, I think that every ophthalmologist in North America should purchase this book for their own office. You know, not just that the staff can take it home, but to have it uh, at the front desk so that even the front desk staff, if they come across, uh, you know, an interesting diagnosis, an unusual uh, concept, can look it up and learn. This book, uh, with its 52 chapters, is really diverse. And it's not only with the, the, the clinical aspects, but it also covers the, the basic sciences, both at the beginning level and a more advanced level. And then it expands uh, to include things like art in ophthalmology, uh, the computer, the role of medical records, uh, the ethics that are involved in patient care. These are all part of the practice of medicine today and it's exciting to have a book that is dedicated to the total field and yet is readable and easy to understand. 